guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's video as you can tell from the title we are going to be renovating my kitchen now um, I just wanted to quickly start this off with um, thanking you guys for continuing to watching my videos I know I have not been consistent at all and I apologize for that um, you know I'm not gonna make any more excuses but I just have a lot going on right now I am slowly getting back into it so bear with me, um, but I have so much stuff coming to you guys. I have my house tour coming really soon, and I have a, tons of DIYs. I actually have one down here that I was filming yesterday for you guys, um, and it's a lot of affordable uh, ways to decorate your house, uh, farmhouse. So with that being said, um, I did also want to, to quickly say that I am introducing a new series here on my channel with all that being said. Basically, um, I got this idea kind of like from um, Nitra B. She has a series on her channel called, um, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's called From um, House to Home. Um, something along the lines of that. And I just figured um, I wanted to do something similar like that but I wanted to have I wanted it to have some more meaning so it's kind of like the same idea kind of concept if you will that mine is going to be called from base housing to home so a lot of you guys know that my husband is in the military we are a military family so shout out to all my other military families out there I wanted to really do something special um, I don't feel like there's a lot of like military-esque videos out there um, so my idea was is how we can make these base houses feel like our home. So if you guys are not military, you guys don't know anything what I'm talking about. Um, we do move every three to four years. So we are always in a new city, new state. So um, so my battery actually died. Um, so I apologize if the lighting is like a little bit different, a little bit harsh. But um, like I was saying, I wanted to make this series and basically show you that you guys can make your base housing a home. For a lot of people, it's hard to be moving every single three to four years or whatever it is. And and, you know we never really feel like our place is our home because we are always moving and it's always a different scenery and whatnot blah 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 so I decided to come out with this series and show you guys that it is possible to make base housing your home so with that being said um, I have come up with different ways on to decorate my house and just kind of just to make it my own this is going to be my first episode and I'm so excited about it I'm very passionate about it I love home decor I love decorating I love transforming for me from nothing to something so I really hope you guys will enjoy this video and I really hope that you guys will also subscribe to my channel if you guys are new thank you guys so much for watching I would love for you guys to subscribe and to become a part of our little family here okay you guys so this is what the kitchen looks like right now so I mean it doesn't look too bad it's just a little bit too plain so as you can see like these countertops they are really sticky um, they like they're kind of like chalk ish the littlest things will stain these um, countertops see like this I just scooted this back and it already left a mark so we are gonna totally transform this kitchen I have dreamed about having marble countertops and today I'm gonna make that happen so first I just kind of want to show you guys the supplies that you're gonna need for this DIY so the first thing is going to be any marble contact paper I got mine off Amazon for about 10 bucks I found mine on Amazon is the cheapest way to go because they do sell these in stores and at Home Depot but they're like 24 dollars so I believe these ones were about 10 to 12 dollars each so I will have those listed down below and then also for the tiles these are the tiles that I got they're from art3d.com I also did get these on Amazon Amazon and they look like this so we will be installing those all along the uh, backsplash right here and you also are gonna need an exacto knife you can use scissors but this is honestly like three bucks you can also get this on Amazon I will link it down below Hey you guys so the first step in this DIY is you want to make sure that all of your countertops are clean you do not want any dust or anything like that that's going to be sticking to your tabletops because that will make your paper lift and then I am just kind of measuring out um, the length of the paper and this definitely I learned the hard way um, is a two-person job so you will need another person to assist you otherwise it's gonna be a lot harder so thankfully my husband had just got off of work and he willingly offered to help so now I am just taking the exacto knife and cutting a strip 
Um, I This countertop was actually really hard to do because it was so small and the paper that I got wasn't wide enough to fit it so I had to split it up into two sections which was perfectly fine because honestly you cannot even tell that there is it's like separated into two papers at all so now this is where two people come in hand is because one person is going to be pulling the bottom half of the paper and then the other person is going to be smoothing the rest of it out so one thing I really did appreciate with this paper was that it was super durable. So anytime I messed up or, you know, I placed something incorrectly, it was super easy to just pick back up. And now what you guys are seeing is the other half has already been put on. And I don't know why my husband did this, but he decided to cut the sides of it and then just relay another paper. So I definitely recommend placing it from end to end. So as I was saying, because he decided to do this piece by piece, now he's just taking a heat gun and just kind of melting the paper and making it stick more. So we just kept repeating the same exact steps as the little small countertop, obviously arranging the pieces as the space required. Okay, so now moving on to the backsplash, I chose these, I forget what they're called, I think they're called subway tiles. This is very farmhouse. Um, I've always wanted to do this in all of my housings, but I never really had like a space like this where it's like the actual backsplash to do so. So I finally did, and these are so cute. These things were super durable as well. They were so easy. Um, they peel off so easily, so that way, if you just wanted to rip them off, you didn't like them anymore, or when you're ready to move out, um, they made these super easy. The only part I had trouble with, which I don't even know why I didn't think of doing this before, is I did not take off the sockets, like for the electrical sockets, and place the things around them like that. I should have done that, but instead I just used some of the tile and I cut off pieces to match where you see that little empty space by the socket. Um, so I basically just repeated this step over. It had to peel off back and then it had places where those little silver squares are. Those are the places where you would place the next tile. So I basically did that all the way around. Um, again, super easy, does not take a contractor to do it. Alrighty guys, and this is the finished product. I absolutely love how it came out. My dreams came true and my bank account was still happy at the end of it. Um, in base housing, it's so hard to make these houses our home and make them feel homey. One day, me and my family will have our dream home, but until then, this is just going to have to do. I am so excited to bring this new series to you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it, especially to all my fellow military spouses. You definitely can make these military homes your own. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!